How many snowshoes could a snowshoe hare wear if a snowshoe hare could wear snowshoes? That's a good question. But I'm not really concerned about snowshoe hares wearing snowshoes. What I am concerned about is having my snowshoes fail in the field. One of the things that I love about these uh, MSR Lightning Ascent or the Lightning Snowshoes is how light they are, how versatile they are, and how tough they are. At least so I thought. This is my pair of snowshoes that I've had for 20 years. You can see they're fuzzed out slightly there, fuzzed out slightly there, and you know, no big deal. This pair or this other side, same sort of thing. Kind of fuzzy, kind of fuzzy. And I upgraded to the MSR Lightning Ascents. Love these things because of the ascent bar. Super great here. Check that out. So when you're walking up steep hills, it's really like not walking up steep hills other than for the extra energy to lift your legs. It's like walking upstairs. The first time I went to Denali, I had these snowshoes. They were light, but my calves were on fire because of how steep the hills are and the mountain is to climb. So I got this pair of snowshoes. However, you'll notice, bum bum bum, a major, major defect. Even though I love MSR gear, uh, they went from a very tough, durable fabric on the old designs. The new Ascent designs has a much lighter, flexible fabric deck, and it's damageable. I've seen other reviews on people who have this same sort of failure, and boo, it really, really stinks. So unfortunately, that means if this fails, I'm toast. This entire snowshoe will fall apart. What do you do? Well, I was trying to get a hold of MSR to get some repairs done, but I can't get a hold of anybody, probably because of COVID. I mean, they're, they're a great company, but you know, who knows? Maybe they have their own staffing issues like everybody else, too. So let me switch the mode here. Defocus. Perfect. So I had to buy a new pair of snowshoes. Like, I paid for this with my own money at retail. Well, actually, I got a little bit of a discount because of where I bought it from. But I don't get any kickbacks. MSR isn't sponsoring me. I would love to have some snowshoes to try out. Hey, MSR, if you hear me. But, how do you solve the problem? The whole point of this video is how do you solve the problem of potentially destroying your snowshoes on this very thin fabric compared to this very wide fabric of the original design? Well, there's one good old solution. Duct tape, folks. Yes, and not just any duct tape, but Gorilla Duct Tape. Brought to you by the Gorilla Duct Tape Company, GorillaTuff.com. I'll put a link below in the description. So what I did is, you can see here, maybe I'll uh, move the camera so you can see it better here. But as you can see, I've literally created a duct tape ridge around the camera strap here. And that way the snowshoe does not get damaged like this. I mean, there was, I couldn't believe when I was going out and I love these and I have a previous video on this snowshoe, like, oh, hey, this is the best ever, right up until it halfway tore. As you can see, I tried to sew it together to protect it, and after one walk, oh, man, what a freaking failure. So that uh, behooves me on my Denali expedition. I need another pair of snowshoes. I am not risking this, and I am not going to walk up without the ascent bar. It's just too miserable. So even though this deck is a superior fabric to this deck. This is so much lighter and rubberier. This stuff is tough. I've walked on crazy rocks for endless miles when I should have taken them off. These, boy oh boy, you don't want to do that. So this is literally the solution, is to run Gorilla Tape all the way around here, including under here. I haven't figured out, I don't think it's gonna matter there, but. I'm going to put some there just as well, and Gorilla Tape here. Now these beautiful snowshoes, these blue snowshoes, I love them, but I've had to put ugly snowshoe repair tape on here, knowing that it's not going to take much to damage and destroy this thing. Also, if you have the old MSR design, let me show you. 
how they've evolved over the years or de-evolved. These are the original MSR Lightnings that I have. And these are the original Ascent design. And then these are the newest Ascent design with the mesh. And you can see here that this is a thicker steel, or at least it feels like it. And it's not flexing at all. No problem. Check this out. Bring! Stepped on a couple of hard rocks. It totally bent this up. And this gap here is a huge failure. They figured that out. And they went back to this design. So it's much more rigid. But the steel on this, or the aluminum, or whatever it is, it always felt a little more rigid. Plus they put this dent in here to prevent any bending. That dent is really, really good. They had the dent in here, but because of this gap, it's like, geez, come on, guys. They don't have the dent in here at all. And they've got the gap here, so I don't know what's going to happen to these. So that's a, kind of a challenge for using the snowshoes. As you can see on top, I actually personally always loved this strap design, even though it is frustrating and hard to use in the cold, because they're super, super versatile ultra tough. I know I've seen a couple of people that have broken them, but I've got a gazillion miles on these. These have gone up to Nolly. These have gone up to Nolly. Crossing Yellowstone in the winter, no problem. I mean, I don't know how many places in freezing minus 40 I've used these. These, this new mesh design, the whole idea is that you uh, won't have hot spots and sore spots. But boy, oh boy, this is a tiny, tiny connection point here. Oh boy, I don't know about that. It does not look inspiring, and if this little little pin falls out here, I've, I've got to think of a way to create a repair, maybe bring some super thin wire, just in case this pin fails, because this, this fails, I won't be able to use my snowshoes, so I'm going to bring some aluminum bailing wire just in case. I've never had failures with these, and even if I have a failure of one strap, there are three straps to go, so even if I had a failing on the strap of the heel, I can still swap one of the other straps into the heel and keep me going. This cannot be said here. People sure love it, but I've heard of a couple people where this rubber stuff rotted away, so they had to buy no snowshoes. Really, MSR needs to make this a wear item and just provide that for sale otherwise. So this is something to be concerned about. These are really great snowshoes, but they are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Are they better than many out there? Yeah, absolutely. There is one other manufacturer I've been looking at, but unless I can test them real quick, I'm certainly not going to take that on a major climb and then have them fail. I'd like to try them out. Um, even the MSR Denali snowshoes, the plastic ones, I've seen breaks in here. That's uh, kind of tragic. So that's just kind of the risk of doing this sort of activities. You got to take a beautiful snowshoe and make it completely ugly to be prepared. And the ultimate rule here and suggestion is Always test all your gear before you go anywhere big. Even if you got to walk in the lawn for a couple hours just to try them out, or don't buy them five days before you're going to go into a major expedition. That's something you don't want to do. Or even if you're just going out and having fun with friends, try stuff out because you don't want to have failures. Or if they tear like this and you're you know, a couple miles out, now you're going to walk all awkwardly. And considering how expensive they are, that's kind of a bummer. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you to show you that uh, sometimes you need to make some mods on your kit or your gear before you go out. That way you can prevent having problems. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books. Antarctic Tears, Lost at Winnie Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guide series, as well as check out my show in the links in the description, Antarctic Tears, watch me ski to the South Pole alone for 90 glorious days. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.